So you're on your way to becoming a social worker. You've already done the hard work of earning your degree, and next up is your ASWB, your Association of Social Work Boards exam. The ASWB are licensure exams that test a social worker's ability to practice ethically and safely and are often the last step before you can practice at your desired level. You might be thinking, which ASWB exam should I take? And what should I expect on test day? We'll take it from here. As a leader in test preparation for over 50 years, Peterson's not only helps you prepare for your ASWB, but guides you through what you need to know in your social work career. Let's get started. First off, the ASWB offers four different levels of examination, bachelor's, master's, advanced generalist, and clinical. The bachelor's exam is designed for entry-level social workers with a BSW degree, while the master's exam is for entry-level social workers with an MSW degree who have less than two years of practice experience. The advanced generalist and clinical exams are designed for entry-level social workers with an MSW degree and at least two years of post-degree experience. When registering to sit for your exam, make sure you choose the appropriate one to avoid additional testing and registration fees. Once you know which exam to take, what sort of questions can you expect? While the specifics vary by test, there's a common overlap of questions that focus on human development, diversity and behavior in the environment, assessment, interventions with clients or client systems, as well as relationships, values, and ethics. All ASWB exams are pass-fail with a critical number of questions that must be answered correctly in order to pass the exam. This is known as the pass point. While the pass point varies depending on the level of the exam, the pass points generally range from 90 to 107 correct answers out of the 150 scored questions. You'll have four hours to complete your exam, which is taken electronically. Just because you already have a social work degree doesn't mean you shouldn't prepare for your ASWB. Here's how you do it. It's all about practice. Peterson's offers multiple practice tests, which help identify your strengths and weaknesses as you prepare for your ASWB. By analyzing your practice test results, you can focus your study time on areas in need of improvement. Approach test day with a plan of attack. This starts with not only setting aside the time to prepare, but using that time to your advantage. Study on the go, whenever you have a few minutes and wherever you happen to be, with Peterson's mobile first design. Finally, Simulate test day by recreating the same environment you'll experience during the exam. Eliminate distractions and only allow yourself the resources you'll have available when you sit for the exam. With the ASWB in your rearview mirror, you're well on your way to making a difference as a social worker. Head to petersons.com to start studying today.